Happy Friday, and welcome to the Nintendo Wiretap. My name is Amiibo Jason, and on today's episode, we have an update from a story we brought to you yesterday, and a bunch of other Nintendo news too. So, without further ado, let's take a look. All right, real quick before we get into the Nintendo news today, I'm curious if any of you have picked up the brand new Ring Fit Adventure. I might sound tired, that's because I just spent about 45 minutes playing Ring Fit Adventure and I am 100% wiped. But if you're playing and looking for some motivation or a community, we actually set up a Ring Fit Adventure 60 day challenge. I have a link to that in the description down below. If you want to join, we'd love to have you. We're gonna be doing this for 60 straight days and working our butts off in the process. So let's get to the news. Story number one today, we have an update on the censorship story we brought to you yesterday regarding Tokyo Mirage Sessions, and Nintendo has indeed confirmed that the version that's coming to Japan is censored. So earlier today, Nintendo issued an apology for consumer confusion surrounding the content in the upcoming enhanced port of Tokyo Mirage Sessions on Nintendo Switch, and it's promised full refunds for those who pre-ordered the game through either the Nintendo Switch eShop or the My Nintendo Store. So yesterday it was revealed that Tokyo Mirage Sessions Encore would have the same content worldwide and be based on the Western release of the original Wii U game, which maybe that doesn't sound like it's too crazy, but it also means that a lot of the more racy content that was included on the Wii U version in Japan is essentially going to be absent on the Nintendo Switch version in all regions. So if, if you didn't see the episode yesterday, essentially there are moments in the game that are more or less censored. In most cases, it has to do with costumes where some costumes were considered to be too revealing. So Nintendo of America decided to cover them up. So after this news broke, fans and those looking forward to the game had mixed reactions to this. So like I said before this morning, a statement was issued on the official Japanese Nintendo website and Nintendo said that it should have been more forthcoming with letting people know about this. And of course, like I said before, there are going to be full refunds for those in the Japanese markets. But for us in the US, we shouldn't really notice a difference whatsoever because we never got that version to begin with. But there you go, folks, official confirmation from Nintendo that the censorship gate is in fact real. I'm curious your thoughts on this. Like I said, for, for North American fans of this game, I'm guessing there's not gonna be a major change whatsoever. But if you are in Japan and listening to this, I'm curious your thoughts on this one. Let me know down below. All right, our next story of the day is one of my favorites, and that is Hideki Kamaya and Ikumi Nakamura want to make Okami 2. So after taking E3 2019 by storm with her amazing charm and stage presence, Akumi Nakamura may have just won the internet's attention once again. So a short clip and a tweet was posted today of her with Platinum Games' Hideki Kamaya, the man behind Bayonetta and Beautiful Joe, among other games too. But you might not know this, but both of these people actually worked on a little game called Okami, and boy oh boy, is it a great game. So in the tweet, it states that the two want to revisit Okami's world at some point. Which, in case you don't know this, Kamaya from Platinum Games was actually the director and the story lead, while Nakamura designed the backgrounds. So, of course, the two took to Twitter and Instagram to post these pictures, and they're trying to get Capcom's attention to make this happen. Now, nothing is confirmed at this point, but at the end of the clip, they both said that Okami is going to be back. So, hopefully this is something that Capcom is going to allow to happen. Uh, I would love to see another game in the Okami series. It's honestly an incredibly fantastic and beautiful game. If you've never played it, I highly recommend you check this out. But let me know your thoughts on this one if you really want to see an Okami sequel, or if you really don't care, let me know down below. And finally today, this one's not really news, but it's something that I feel like I need to bring up. Today is the 34th birthday of the Nintendo Entertainment System, and it's a, it's a special day for me because I'm 34. The NES was born the same year that I was, so I have a very special place for Nintendo in my heart. To close out today's episode of the Nintendo Wiretap, I really, really have to just shout out my love for the NES. It changed the video game industry, it single-handedly saved the video game industry too, and I'm just thrilled that 34 years ago this amazing thing came out. So share with me your favorite NES memories down in the comments below. I really can't wait to read them. Honestly, it's such an amazing system. 
All right, folks, that's going to wrap up the Friday edition of the Nintendo Wiretap. As always, I'll see you soon with yet another episode, and I hope to see at least some of you over at NintendoWire.com taking part in the Ring Fit Adventure 60-Day Challenge. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Ha <laughs> ha